All right, let's go check these girls out over here. Phoebe's evening. To, it's her turn again to tuck in the pumpkin. She gets to be on a video, she says. So she was excited about that. We're going to check out Pinky. Oh, Pinky's over here. But guess what? Pinky isn't moving as much right now. Why? Well, people have been having very cold days. We've been having very cool and cloudy days. None of that snow stuff that old Chad has to deal with. But we got a little, little bit of cool, cloudy weather, which generally means growth is not fast. The, the pumpkins are kind of, they're in here and we're trying to warm it the best we can, but it doesn't always get as warm. As you can see, we get more vines sticking through here. We got another one just about ready to peer through here. And then there's another one under here coming through. So, and obviously that vine over there, well, he doesn't have that much more to grow. Hey, we get some hot days, some hotter evenings. It's gonna definitely, definitely have some more growth on the plant. So as Phoebe gets to tucking in the 1990 Marenzer. We're going to mosey on over. Ooh, be careful. Let's go check out our other girl over here. Give you another look from a different angle. So here it is. 1990. And this is the 2304 Getty. Sorry about that. She's shiny. Her leaves are great. I'm liking the look of this plant. And I'm really liking the look of all these vines shooting through. I mean, nothing to complain about the Marenzer. Obviously, her, that side, those side vines are a bit longer, but these side vines have really started to grow. You can see them shooting through our board there. We got one under here. I think there's another one. Yeah, there it is in there that's about ready to touch down. Uh, let's see. There's the, the end of it right there sticking up coming off so and all the other side vines are looking good on the plant she's touching the board there so we'll go over there and see how far she moved from her stake this one i mean about identical to the other plant the growth was a little slower but this one unlike the marenzer see if we can see it in there eh, a little hard to get it on camera just yet I think it's under that leaf and when you're touching these be very 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 careful doing that and we're gonna have to just wait and see but there is a female right in there so leave that leaf like that so there's a female in there and we've got let's check them out one two three four, five, and six. There, that one there would be seven. Two more leaf nodes, and it is on two more is number nine. That means, I mean, really after seven, eight, I'm fine with pollinating. And if it's a good pumpkin, I'd stick with it, but definitely on number nine. So she's in there. Maybe it's the one, who knows? All right, baby. Peace. Well, hello, ladies. We got a mom in the house tonight, right, Elsie? Yeah. Yep, yeah, for our end of the week video for everybody. Take a look at the old plants. The ladies are standing by me. You can see they are growing fast. They are huge. What do you ladies think? They're a giant and they'll make a pumpkin pretty soon. Well, in fact, what do we have showing up on the pumpkin plants? the pumpkin that we want to keep right yep. yes both plants in the tip this one the 1990 Marenzer finally showed up there's a little baby in there and we have a job for everybody we want people to win another seed right yeah so you got to tell us what do they have to do you have to guess when the 1990 Marenzer and the other plant will 2304 Gettys will be pollinated, right? The pollination date. So today is the 16th of May, right? I think so. Yeah. 
May 16th, I don't know, sometime around then. Whatever this Sunday is, we don't really keep track of days around here. But we're gonna post a video today when we take this video. So how many days does it normally take when a pumpkin shows up to be pollinated? Somewhere around how many days, do you know? Like nine or 10. This girl, are you serious? Do you know pumpkins or what? Yeah. Yeah, so what's your guess? What day, it's the 16th today, when do you think these pumpkins will be pollinated? Uh, around the 26th and the 27th. So which day? What's your guess? On a Monday or a Tuesday. No, no. May 26th or May 27th. Which day? Um, You're, out of on the You're out of school on the 26th, Mom says. So the next day is the May 27th. So maybe the next day that you're home. So yeah. on both plants? Or do you think one might be before the other? One might be Okay, so I'm gonna give you a hint. The 2304 Gettys will probably be day or two earlier than the Marenser. So you think, Elsie yeah. says May 26th on the Gettys and May 27th on the Marenser, right? Yeah. Okay, well, sounds great. And before we go, we'll give you one last look at the Marenser. Let's walk through here. We're gonna see Pinky, see how it's done. It's gotten a lot warmer this week. Here at the end of the week, they're still not moving extremely fast, but Pinky was underneath there. It's out here. So what we got going on here, we got a board right here, not very far. The plant will grow out over here. We're gonna grow it on this side of the board. I need it to be moved because my vine is gonna be moved that way. The pumpkin will sit right over here somewhere, somewhere out here. And so the pumpkin will grow that way and it will grow back towards this. So I got to get that vine moved that way. That's why it's being moved that way. All right, ladies, are you going to walk through or are you going to stay here? Walk through. Oh, of course. Mom, are you walking through? No, I'll let her go. <laughs> Mom doesn't want to hurt the plants and the Mom kids don't. Mom camera. Ooh. <laughs> and here we go. We're going to go check out the 2304 Gettys. We got a little bit of something else going on here. If you've seen where I've walked before, all of a sudden you can see that board is extremely close. Well, why is that? I'll go check it out and tell you what's going on here. So I know, and this is why, you know, I look at where the pumpkins are in the tip of the vine. Generally, if you don't have a post or something in your way, you probably don't want to mess with the tip of your vine much. But I do because I know... I need to get the plant either to grow on this side of the board or on this side of my post. So depending on which side the pumpkin falls is which side the, the, the plant needs to go. Last year, the plant was on this side because the pumpkins were out that way. Well, this one here, the one that I want to go with, and it is the one I want to go with, he's on this side of the vine. This one you can kind of see right there, right at the tip and it's falling on that side of the vine. And here is our white one. It's kind of hard to see because I, this one's, I had to grow it underneath the here and I've already got the S curve started. I start them early because I want big, huge pumpkins. So I start the S curve right here. I get it growing. It'll come out here and then I'll vine kind of back a little bit through here and then it'll come back and run right along my board. So the pumpkin on this one's gonna sit right here. All right, well, there you go. Now give us your guess. Don't always believe Elsie or believe Elsie. And whoever get, is right on the 2304 and, or if you're right on the 1990. So if you're right on both dates, you get two names in the hat. If you're only right on one date, you only get one. So give us two guesses and have a chance to win another 1990 Marenser. Okay, good luck everybody.